G'day, I'm Gary Pye. And I'm Madison Pye. Cartoon Animator has long been the easiest and fastest way to create 2D animation. With Cartoon Animator, you can produce quality animation projects in no time, regardless of your skill level in animation. Cartoon Animator makes animating easy for everyone, and it's so much fun. Let us show you how. With the latest update to Cartoon Animator 5.2, we see the introduction of Motion Pilot which gives you total control over the movement of your actors and props controlled in real time using mouse movements with variable parameters set by you. Motion Pilot gets rid of the need for hours of keyframing your animation because now you can record all of your characters like puppets. Think of it more like acting than animating. Motion Pilot makes everything easier and faster, but more importantly, it makes everything so much fun. And best of all, anyone can do it. Let me show you. Okay, so on screen we have a scene set up, and the scene is all laid in 3D so we can move our actors around. In 3D view, you can see all of your elements and where they sit on stage. Now, let's get them moving. First, you want to add an actor to your scene. Let's add a little scuba diver. Just drag and drop him to your scene. Now, I want to make him swim. So we'll add a swimming motion to him so that he'll automatically start to swim around. Open the Motion Pilot menu and then find a motion for swimming. In Motion Pilot, there's a section called Motion. Check the Blend box. Then, all you'll have to do is drag and drop your swim motion onto the text box. Since we only want him to swim forwards, scroll up to where it says Face Cursor and turn that off so he doesn't flip direction. And we'll just move him off screen to where he's going to start. Let's have a practice run of him swimming. We won't record, we'll just practice. Click Preview and move your mouse over to the scuba diver. Then hit the space bar and see what happens when you move your mouse around. Can you make him swim faster? Yep, we can here. Hit the space bar. <laughs> Now that we've rehearsed his movement, let's record the screen. This time, we're going to hit record instead of preview. Hit, hit the space bar. Right, now let's see what we've animated. We'll go back to the beginning and then hit play on the control panel. How easy was that? And we still have the octopus on standby. Then let's get him moving. I want him to chase the scuba diver. We've already got the motion of the scuba diver, so we'll just add the octopus on top. Our octopus has a bunch of spring bones in his legs that will make him bounce around and move in a pretty cool way. Spring bones automate the animation and Cartoon Animator does all the work for us. Instead of adding a motion to the octopus like we did with the scuba diver, I'm going to be the puppeteer and move him about on screen while we record his movements. But first, let's have a practice run. With Motion Pilot open, hit Preview and then hit the space bar and work your magic. <laughs> and now you just have to do that again. But this time, hit Record to record all of your animation. Space bar. <laughs> Human, yummy, I'm gonna eat you. That's so cool. Now play back your animation and you'll see your octopus and scuba diver swimming together. How easy is that? You can control any character or prop this way, moving it around like a puppet and then recording its motions. So are you done with your animation now? No, I want to add some fish. I'm going to call her Sheila. Up at the top of the screen here, I'm going to use the duplicate button to make a couple copies of Sheila. These will be her babies. And I'm just going to put them here. Now I can control Sheila as she swims. But we want her babies to follow her. And to do this, we use something called flock settings. In your scene list, select Sheila and then also select her babies. Sheila is the leader and the babies will follow her. We'll make their delay random so they follow behind mum a bit. And then let's record their animation. Yummy. 
That's all there is to it. You can animate like this too, and in just minutes. Motion Pilot is easy enough for anyone to do, and it makes it so much fun. Now, there are a couple of other really cool things I want to show you that Motion Pilot can do. So, do you want to stick around? Sure. Okay. What I'd like to do now is to show you some of the other cool things that Motion Pilot can do. We saw that Maddie was able to puppeteer the characters around the screen in real time, but even though Cartoon Animator makes animation fast, easy, and fun, it's also an incredibly powerful tool that gives us much more control over our characters. For instance, we saw that Maddie could animate the octopus in real time just by moving the mouse around. But even after the motion is recorded, we can go back and add more character animation to our actors. For instance, we can make the octopus turn its head in the direction it's swimming. Thanks to Cartoon Animator's 360 head setup, we can keyframe the rotation of an actor's head and add facial animation like blinking and lip syncing to voiceover tracks. Hey, I'm an octopus. Who would have thought? We saw that Maddie was able to add the school of fish to her scene. In addition to piloting them around in real time, we can also add spring bones to the fish to make them move in a more dynamic way. Then, using the wave function of Motion Pilot, we can make the fish move automatically, controlled by parameters that we set. For instance, by just adjusting the y-axis of the move amplitude, the fish will now bob up and down in the water on its own, and changing the loop duration determines how fast or slow this motion is. Excited little fellow, isn't he? You can even tell Cartoon Animator whether you want the fish's movement to be constant or random. As well as puppeteering your characters in real time, you can also create a path for your characters and put them on it so that you can control their movement. By simply plotting a path with mouse clicks, you only need to link your actor to the path and determine how long it takes for the actor to progress along that path. And your actors don't have to just move side to side and up and down either. In Cartoon Animator, you can build your scenes to have camera depth. All of your elements in your scene are layered, from close to camera to all the way off in the distance. This means you can have your actors move in front of and behind objects, and you can control this during live recording with Motion Pilot. Let's take Maddie's octopus, for example. By adjusting the z-axis of the octopus, which controls how close it is to camera, we can have him swim around props within the scene, moving both in front and behind them as we puppet him in real time. To add a little more realism, we can use the scale function to make the octopus become bigger as it moves closer to camera and smaller as it moves further away. There are lots of different ways you can control your characters using Motion Pilot, and you can control those parameters in real time to get results live before you start recording. Finally, you can decide whether you want your actor to follow in time with your mouse, or using the lazy mouse function, you can have the actor follow along at a slower, smoother pace. Blub, blub, blub. I'm a little octopus. You can even make your actors as crazy as you want. And you're not just limited to using Motion Pilot to control your actors. You can also use it to control other elements within your scene. Take the sponge, for instance. When we set up the scene and add the sponge as a prop, we were able to add our own custom bones to the sponge to give it a simple skeleton. Then we turn some of those bones into spring bones, giving them flexibility. Using Motion Pilot, we can set the rotation on the prop so it gently moves side to side, as if affected by the water current. By making the tween frames random, the motion will look more natural, 
and then we can set the loop duration to make the sponge gently sway about during the scene while the rest of the action takes place around it. You can apply this style of automated motion to almost anything in your scene, meaning you can have things moving around independently. We could even add this to the water that's at the top of our screen, therefore creating the illusion of the water constantly moving. Because we built spring bones into this prop, it will appear to flex and wobble about when we apply a simple wave motion to it, helping to bring our scene to life. With Cartoon Animator, you can create living, dynamic scenes in which your characters can live. And then you can control those actors in real time. You don't even have to know how to animate to do this. All you need to do is have fun, because Cartoon Animator and Motion Pilot do all the work for you. These are just some of the highlights you can achieve with Cartoon Animator and Motion Pilot. You can get all sorts of movements from just playing around with the settings and values of the different tools. And that's what this feels like, playing. Cartoon Animator really is the most fun you'll ever have animating. And it delivers smooth, professional animations, no matter what your level of experience is. Now, let's take a look at Maddie's final animation she did after we tweaked everything and made a finished, polished animation. Motion Pilot and Cartoon Animator make animation fast, easy, and fun for everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.